Hello and a very warm welcome to Riyadh on the first day of the 2023-24 AFC Champions League for our live coverage of Al Hilal against Nav Bahor. Al Hilal of Saudi Arabia against Nav Bahor of Uzbekistan. It is Group D and it is a match that will go down in history, whatever happens result-wise, because the Brazilian Neymar is going to make his full debut for Al Halal. We'll give you the team lineups uh, in a few minutes' time. But that is the big news. Very, very warm here, as you can see. 36 degrees centigrade. Uh, centigrade. That's about 100 odd in Fahrenheit if you work in old money. And as you can see, the crowd building up nicely ahead of a match that Al Hilal are huge favourites to win. It is the first time since the beginning of the 2020 campaign that the group stage is returning to home and away format. 18 countries are staging matches uh, in the first match week, right across Asia, as far east as Melbourne and as far west as Amman. Been a long wait, and it's finally here. And this competition, of course, is going to run through until the uh, final in May of next year. 40 clubs taking part. They're all divided into 10 groups of four. And remember, the 10 group winners will qualify automatically to the last 16, and then the three best runners-up in each of the two regions, East and West, this is a West region match, will also make it through to the knockout stage. So much has been written about Neymar and whether he would play tonight. Even the Al-Hilal coach, uh, as recently as yesterday, Georgi Jesus was saying he didn't know. He's had a couple of injury issues. He did get just under half an hour from the substitute bench on Friday, but he starts tonight. Man who cost in the region of $100 million US from Paris Saint-Germain. And those fans are going to get a first glimpse of what that money will buy here this evening. I mentioned that the home team are big favourites. They are four-time winners, and they're up against... Navbahor of Uzbekistan, who are making their AFC Champions League debut. In fact, it's their first continental football of any kind in 13 years. They come here as big underdogs, but I guess by the same token, you can argue they've got absolutely nothing to lose. Well wishes passed on as the Al Hilal players make their way out. There is the man in question. Recently broke Pele's record for the most international goals for Brazil. In fact, the great man's or the late great man's website put up a congratulatory message when Neymar scored those two goals against Bolivia recently. It was actually something of a surprise. He was even in the Brazil squad for those two games because he hadn't played in the league for Al Hilal prior to that. Ended up playing the whole of the first game and virtually all of the second as well. I think there'll be a few nerves around amongst those Navbahal players. You wouldn't blame them. They had to come through a playoff match against Al Wakra of Qatar to reach the group stage. They won that uh, playoff match in extra time. I think they'll relish the chance to play against the likes of Neymar and also Alexander Mitrovic, the Serbian striker. Such a potent strike force potentially for Al Hilal. Nevbahor actually have only been Uzbek champions on one occasion. Back in way back in 1996. Finished second in the league last season. They actually haven't played for more than two weeks. The last match was against Termez Sirkon uh, in the Cup, which they won by two goals nil. They are currently second in their domestic league after 18 games, seven points behind Pactacor, eight games left of that domestic season. But Neymar there chasing a little bit of history. He was to 
win this competition. And the first player, having won the Champions League, of course, the European Champions League with Barcelona, to have been a continental champion in Europe and in Asia. A few others chasing that record as well, the likes of Ronaldo and uh, Karim Benzema. So many big names in Saudi Arabian football. It's really fired up the interest in the AFC Champions League. You add in the likes of Sadio Mane and Golo Kante, Fabinho, among many others. And you start to see the galaxy of stars that are now playing on the Asian continent. Three hundred and fifty-nine club goals. Neymar has scored in his career and counting, as well as nearly eighty for his country. They actually lost to Real Madrid way back in February, you might remember, in the final of the FIFA Club World Cup, having beaten Flamengo of Brazil in the semis. And then they lost 2-1 on aggregate to uh, the Rama Red Diamonds in the Champions League final. Third time in six years that those two clubs have contested the showpiece match in Asian club football. And they actually only finished third in the uh, domestic Pro League last season, 13 points behind the big rivals Al Itihad. Suspect it might be a bit closer this season. He certainly looks relaxed enough as the officials lead the players onto the field. And it's worth pointing out that for the first time, we are going to have VAR officials for the group stages of the AFC Champions League. <laughs> well, it's all about opinions, isn't it? But they have won the Champions League four times. So it's uh, hard to argue with that banner. Even though it's uh, latish in the evening here, still very, very warm in Riyadh ground here that has a capacity of some 22,000. They are actually going to expand that to pretty much double that number. Champions League winners in 91, 2000, 2019 and 2021 and also Five times runners-up, including last season, as I mentioned. To watch the Nampahor players go through there. Actually skippered by their goal uh, goalkeeper, Utkir Yusupov, who's very experienced, and you just suspect he might be a busy man in the next couple of hours. So they're just going to get together for the team photo. And he's wide right in that picture. I think he's going to start on the left-hand side this evening, Neymar, if the uh, formations we've been given are accurate. <laughs> they we're looking at, at him in, in awe, some of those Napa Hall players. Salman Al-Faraj there is the skipper. And the man in charge is Mohammed Abdullah Hassan of the United Arab Emirates. And there is Ukir Yusupov on the right hand side. Omar Alali is the man who will make the VAR calls tonight. Well, there's the sight that all Al Hilal fans wanted to see. Neymar in the starting lineup, but goals could come from all over. 
Alexander Mitrovic, the Serbian, we know how prolific he's been, particularly in the Premier League of late, with Fulham. And the uh, lineup of Navbahor. Look out for number seven, Austin Uranov. He's only 22. He's the leading scorer this season with six. And he's quick. Plays predominantly wide right as we uh, check out the substitutes. Well, so much has been written on newspaper articles, TV and radio, as we look at Georgie Jesus, 69-year-old boss of Al-Hilal. Portuguese as dedicated to the game as ever. So much written about Neymar, and now the talking stops. And we're going to see his full debut for the Saudi Arabian Giants here. So away we go, Navbahor getting us started in white, attacking the goal away to our left in this first period. And with levels of expectation here at uh, near fever pitch. And that was a very nervous attempt at a clearance. It really was. Oh, the way he swung at fresh air. Sometimes being overwhelming favourites, of course, does bring its own kind of pressure. Here's Michael, the uh, other Brazilian. The free kick was taken nowhere near the offence occurred, and that's why the referees pulled it back. It's only about 25 metres away from the original infringement. Here in July, Jesus. Three league titles as Benfica boss. There's Abdul Hamid, who you can expect to see overlapping from that right back position, and he fancies a run here. I think it's Michael who's gone down and stayed down, and uh, therefore Urunov puts the ball out. Knee on thigh, painful. Well, there's Sanvel Babian, the uh, coach of Nerpahor. It's actually first manager here back in 1996, left a few years later and then came back a couple of years ago. Also coached in China, he's pretty experienced, the 52-year-old. He's going to need all of that tonight. Needs uh, throw. And Al Hilal can start building from the back. A little touch from Al Faraj, the captain. 34 years of age. It's his 350th club appearance tonight. He's been here 15 years, would you believe? This is Michael. Neymar. Little buzz around the ground for the Brazilians' first touch. Now El Sharani. Malcolm. I think there's a bit too much on that. It was Igor Golban who went across. Did Sharani keep that in play before it came off for his opponent? He did. Neymar. Conductor, as well as Virtuoso, will take the corner. They do have some height. Centre-half Abelay there is 6-2. Referee just wants a word. So much pushing and shoving goes on at every set-piece. Now, referees have to have eyes in the back of their head almost. Abelay trying to find some space. Keepers come. 
surely could have caught that, but Yusatov decided to punch and he got decent distance on it. Sharani, he's been here over a decade. They've got some very loyal servants of uh, Al Hilal. The Badze stopped in his tracks. Already only, what, not even five minutes in, 75% possession for the home team. You'd expect nothing less. Here's Mitrovic. Touch just let him down. Now Milovic. I think Tabadze knew he was going to be offside there, so didn't bother to continue the run. Some back tea. Most expensive Saudi player in history, Hassan Tambakti. It cost twelve and a half million dollars US from Al Shabab last month. Al Sharani. Neymar couldn't quite get it through to its intended target. Back to Al Balay. Spreading the play nicely. Here's Michael. Turn of pace to the byline, and he's won the corner. Defender did well, actually, Yildashev, to give him credit. It's only 24, Yildashev, he's already at his seventh club. Moved from Dinamo in January. Just get the feeling it's so important for Nav Bahor to survive the early onslaught here from Al Hilal. Early goal, and you start to fear for them. Ruben Neves, well, he was about to take the corner, and once again, referee having words with both Neymar and Yildashev. Yildashev has been told to stay tight, and he's Taken that literally now. We've got a player down, which is Neymar. It's all getting a little bit silly. Ildashev is uh, rolling around. Let's see if we can see exactly what happened. Well, I don't think it was. He just backed into him, basically. Much ado about nothing, I think. I'm not sure the little nudge from Neymar warranted that. <laughs> really not. For a guy who's six foot two. Anyhow, eventually we're going to get this corner taken. Neves has waited patiently and now delivers. Well, took off the uh, taken off the goalkeeper by the defender on the near post, Ivanovic. Got lucky there, Navbahor. We're back to Mohamed Alouais, who might have a fairly comfortable evening, you suspect. Top goalkeeper, Alouais, you might remember he won the Man of the Match award in that famous uh, Saudi Arabian win over Argentina at the last World Cup. His name up outside of the boot to find Malcolm. And Brazilian to another. And here's another one, Michael. Not quite as accurate with the outside of the boot as Neymar had been moments earlier. Flag was up. Not going to have much support to Badzi tonight. Just strayed the wrong side, as you can see. 
the number 77, Suburzanov will try and get forward to support him when he can, but I think they're going to be concentrating on defence for most of the evening. No free kick, and sorted out well by Uranov. Here he is again. Nearly got it through to Sabrizanov. That's a second loose pass from uh, Al Faraj. Didn't get enough on it. We do have a few players forward here. Navbahor, but Sabritsinov decided to go back and they're going to go all the way back to Yusupov. Talking of all the way back, that was Abdul Hamid. Just made his 50th appearance for the club. Apparently he's got a picture of Lionel Messi on his kit back. Bakti, Al Faraj, first time ball, Abdul Hamid, but harmlessly out for a goal kick. Well, still nil nil, ten minutes in, but they're enjoying themselves. Level of expectations here so high. They are currently top of the table after five wins and a draw in the domestic league. So Bansi wanted a free kick, didn't get it. That will be a free kick, it'll go Al Hilal's way. Well, it wasn't the greatest of challenges, was it? <laughs> By uh, Tabadzi. Untidy, to say the least. They will be patient, Al Hilal, under Georgi Jesus. Like to play it short. Passing triangles, that's the Jesus way. It's actually his second spell here. He, he had seven months in charge back in 2018. Didn't work out. Various uh, contractual issues. Saw him leave the club. Ismailov is the man down. After Alvalet's challenge and a free kick rightly given. So far, so good for Sambel Babian, Nathbahor coach. He has managed the national Uzbekistan team as well. Well, oh, that's a really poor pass. Present for Zabrizanov. Lovely skill this to Marunov. He's quick and he's direct. See why he's got six goals for the season. First really bit of telling player, telling play from a man in white. Here's Milovic. Just seeing a little bit more of the ball at the moment. Enough for Hall. Is Moylov. Might get a second go.
Well ball to Boev. A little optimistic, trying his luck from there, and a quizzical look towards the referee as if to say, was that a hand? Answer, no, it wasn't. Malcolm, scored by uh, Al Sharani, and that will be a goal kick. They look organised so far, Nepahor, to say that. Or just cannon back, as you can see, off Malcolm. Launched forward by Yusupov. His team have negotiated the first quarter of an hour here without conceding. Tambakti. And that surely would have been the game plan. Just keep frustrating and see where that takes you. That's a lovely ball across from Abdul Hamid. Now Neymar. Little step over, little slide rule pass that didn't quite reach Malcolm. Game where Neymar came off the bench at the weekend. Just wait as the cross comes over, should be claimed easily enough and was by Yusupov. Yeah, it came on against Dal Riyad. And for the last half hour or so, we'll just break off because here is Tabadzi. Just didn't have the speed to go directly at goal. That looked like a half chance for a moment. Whistle's gone now. Well, something of a late flag. Let's have a look. Well, he's literally one foot in the opposing half, but I think the... Centre half might have been playing him on side. Anyhow, free kick was given. And that's what this man's all about. Tricks and flicks and a lot of goals. Al Sharani. Yeah, you know, Neymar got half an hour and uh, although he didn't score, he had a part in four goals in that 6-1 win. <laughs> he's, he's having a physical old time, is uh, Tabadzi there. On his own, up against the back line of Al Hilal with very little support. And he's carrying on manfully. Al Sharani. Two waiting in the middle, and that's going to be another goal kick. Second time it's cannoned off him. A little unfortunately. Short by Iskandarov. Now ball to Boev, and he's lost it. And now they could be in trouble because the break is on. Led by Neymar. Three in the middle waiting, and in the end, blocked behind for a corner. But they were breaking at pace there. First time, really, that Nat Bahor had players committed upfield, lost it. And for a minute, it was four against three. Wasn't the greatest ball actually from Neymar, just pushed Michael a bit wider than he wanted to go. But it will be a corner. Main man to take. It is warm. <laughs> In swinger from Neymar. Keeper came, got something on it, not very much. 
back in through the crowd, it wouldn't fall for Michael. And Nathbohor can bring it away. Not for very long, they might be in trouble here. Neymar, another corner. Well, he stood up to him well, Igor Goldban there. Neymar again. Only a goal kick this time. Well, I mentioned it, it seemed as though, it feels as though Nathbohr are having a bit more of the ball. He, he will probably think that. Possession's down to 70%, which is still a lot, but from where it was, it's an improvement for the Uzbek side. To back T. Early ball for Malcolm. He switches the play beautifully. Inch perfect that pass. And Mitrovic's touch wasn't exactly what he was planning. He's not had too many touches actually so far, the Serbian. So Brizanov. It's a nice ball for Uranov. He went to chip the goalkeeper. It wasn't a bad idea at all. He is a live wire. Came through the youth setup here. He was onside. Second spell at the club. And uh, might have really caused a, a shot there had that been a bit more accurate. But it was certainly the right thing to do because Alois was way off his line. Possession's just gone up a touch. It's not always the most meaningful of statistics. Malcolm. I actually don't think that was the worst ball. I, I think the move from Michael, he, he went inside initially. If he'd actually focused on his teammate, might have gone the other way, but it's good defending from Urinov. Came here last year, Michael. 27 years now. So many big name arrivals. Malcolm, who cost 65 million US dollars here in July. Well, a hat trick on his uh, league debut last month. Yildashev, strong player. Solid challenge, to say the least, from Saud Abdul Hamid. Well, midway through the first half, and Nafahor holding their own. And you have to give credit to uh, Samvel Babien for the way he's got them organised here. Not making life easy for the hosts. And you might have just seen Georgie Jesus there on the touchline looking uh, a little concerned. Yes, still very early days, but we loved an early goal just to settle the nerves down. Now they're pressing Nathbohor, which is good to see. That was a, a little too over-physical. But the fact they're not making it easy for Al-Halal to get out, certainly a positive sign for their coach, Samvel Babian.
Now Thrash, rather hemmed in, he had to go back, but it was still a purposeful pass. And back T. Now Malcolm. Now Farage. Oh, just basic miscontrol there from Ruben Neves. Doesn't look that happy, but I'm sure he is inwardly. a face of some concern. Al Farage this near side is Abdul Hamid. Oh, that's a lovely turn from Mitrovic. I think it just came off the defender. It did. It's a corner. I think he might have wanted more than that. I don't think there was any issue. It was her ball. And I'm not sure that the Mitrovic effort was necessarily on target. Hard to say. No, it was going wide anyway. Neymar will take the corner. Easily headed away at the near post by Tabadze, who'd come back to help out. And he'll get the free kick for that as well. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, really. Usually in those situations, defenders get the benefit of the doubt. Just couldn't quite reach it, so Brizanov. Second spell here for the 23-year-old. He signed permanently from Pactacor after loan spell at the end of last year. Malcolm. He's gone for the return and he's got it. Can he find a cross? Really well defended. Nice ball as well to set Sabrizinov on his way. A few whistles from the home fans. Well, they won't be whistling now because their team have got it back. But just starting to get a bit frustrated. His name up. Blakely taken off the ball, but there's an advantage, and this time it will be a free kick given. And a card for a cynical tuck back. It was a good advantage he played there after the foul on Neymar. But the second challenge <laughs> abruptly ended the attack. Referee had to stop the play and give the free kick. That was the foul on Neymar by Avinovic. And the same man tugged at the shirt and earned himself a caution. Now, what can they cook up from the free kick? You just wonder whether Neymar might fancy opening his account for his new club from this kind of distance and this kind of situation. Malcolm over the ball as well, but he would suspect Neymar has the bragging rights if he wants to take it. Certainly placing it very deliberately. Could, of course, be the double bluff.
just about the perfect distance to get it up and down over the wall. Is that maybe three metres outside the box? Steely eyed stare from the $100 million man. Four in the wall. Malcolm over it as well, but you suspect Neymar will strike it. Let's see. It is Neymar, and it was a bit of an anti-climax, truth to tell. Murphy was trying to get it low under the ball, knowing that they would jump, but it just didn't make any kind of connection, and very easy for Yusupov to make the stop. So it's been a very satisfactory first half hour for Nav Bahor on level terms with one of the Champions League favourites, full time winners. Referee's going to stop the game here with, I think it's Ruben Neves who's gone down. Just a stray boot from Izbalov. And a calling break that is badly needed in these conditions, let me tell you. 36 degrees, it's about 100 on the Fahrenheit scale. You need a drink. But much for these Al Hilal players to ponder here. Expected to win this very comfortably. But the men in white are frustrating them, and they've had. The odd moment going forward, you think of the uh, Urinov attempted lob. Clearly trying to get his points across there. There's patience and there's patience. I, I think one of the things so far is that Al Hilal's final ball maybe hasn't been good enough. Whilst you give credit to Nav Bahor for resilient defending and organisation. Maybe it hasn't been quite as tough for them as they might have expected. What's the message there? Maybe try and pull them out of position a little bit. Oh, they still believe. Still an hour to go. And here's Ruben Neves for Al Hilal. Malcolm. You can see there every man in white behind the ball. Two, three, and then a line of four. Now it's 2 4 4. Tough to find a way through at the moment for Al Hilal. Here's Malcolm. Neves. Having said all that, just takes a moment. One little bit of inspiration to open up a team. That'll be a Al Hilal ball. Neves. 
Rather fortunate it came back to uh, Al Faraj. And now Malcolm. Mitrovic waiting in the middle. This is Al Faraj again. Trying to move it from one side to the other quickly. Nice play from Michael. Gets the cross in. Just a fraction too high for Malcolm, who was lurking with intent on the back post. Really good delivery, that, from Michael. So yet another corner. It's their sixth, but they still seek the breakthrough. Neymar to take. Keeper was in no man's land. It's come all the way through and thrashed across goal by Malcolm. It's come back to Neymar, though, and he's onside. Short little ball from Al Faraj, but the dummy was to no one. Michael just wonder if they might rue some of these opportunities. Here's another chance, maybe. Abdul Hamid trying to get Michael in again, and it's yet another corner kick. just swung a boot at it and in the end it actually turned out to be a decent pass to Neymar but he was a mile off target with the effort first touch was actually pretty good second wasn't Neymar then from the other side this will be the outswinger again the keeper might well have caught that again decided to punch Right way through for Iskarendov. Neymar was taken out by uh, Yuldashev. Well, he's been a marked man for a large part of his career with Santos and Barca and, PSV and PSG. It's OK. And he's going to take the free kick himself here. So back to waits. Neymar's delivery over hit slightly. Anywhere will do at the moment. As far as Nav Bahora concerned. Al Faraj. Michael. Turn back T. Al Faraj again. Noticeable that since that calling break where we saw the coach so engrossed trying to get a, a message across, they've tried to switch it from one flank to the other. On the left-hand side this time, that's going to go harmlessly behind for a goal kick. See what Michael was trying to do. He cut in purposefully, but skewed off the outside of his boot way, way wide. Six shots so far for Al Hilal, but just the one on target, and that was the Neymar free kick that was very, very easily saved. Just the one attempt for the Uzbekistan side. That was Urunov's attempted lob that was off target. Pumped forward by Yildashev. Couldn't find a white shirt with it, though. Malcolm. Al Faraj seeing a bit more of the ball in the middle of the park. Al Sharani. Michael is hugging that left hand touch line. Here he is. 
Trout to take on the fullback again, cuts inside again, Al Sharani. That's nicely done. Just the final pass. Really inventive approach play. It's been at the heart of pretty much everything, Michael. And this was very well worked with Al Farage. Onside, clearly. Just wonder if Mitrovic might have just stepped back. Rather than going more towards the near post, easy to say from here. But there were two Al Hilal players in the middle, and they both kind of went away from the ball. I don't think it was the worst delivery from Michael. I think he could have expected someone to back off towards the far post. It would have been a tapping. Michael again, Neymar. Misplaced pass from the number 10. Here's Neves. Five minutes to go of normal time. That's going to spin out for a goal kick. Going to be quite a bit to add on, you would fancy. We've had quite a few injuries, plus the cooling break, obviously. Coming up just past 20 to 10 in the evening local time here, and still very, very warm. Forward by Al Faraj. Neymar can take it in his stride. Neves, Abdul Hamid, Malcolm cutting in, well the crowd doing their best to try and Raise their team into getting something before the break. Neves again, the Portuguese. Very, very straightforward that for Yusupova. I'm not sure if the challenge from Mitrovic warranted that kind of reaction. Let's have a look. Well, he may be left a bit there, the Serbian. Two million US dollars he cost Mitrovic from Fulham last month. Some of his goal scoring exploits are phenomenal. 43 goals in the championship, second tier in England in uh, 21 22 season, and then 14 in the Premier League last term. And he, he missed uh, 10 or 12 games. So you can understand why they paid the money to bring him into Georgie Jesus' squad. I think he's going to be fine. They need some inspiration at some point from somewhere. They'll look to Neymar, but they have all kinds of options out there. We've seen in particular Michael looking very lively. Malcolm maybe not been quite at his best so far. Mitrovic pretty quiet. To be fair, hasn't had a huge amount of service. Again, just over here. And I think it is that final ball. Some of the passing nowhere near as sharp as uh, Georgie Jesus would want.
This half-time team talk will be much the easier if the scoreline stays this way. Battered about again to Badzi. Offside flags up. A little lazy, that. Could have just looked along the line. Tight, though, very tight. Third time they've been caught. So, just a question of how much uh, time to be added. We've played the 45. And there's the answer. I thought it might be a little bit. Neymar. Better ball. Michael. Little shimmy made him a yard. It's a good cross towards Mitrovic. And then coming in was Abdul Hamid. And he was way off target. Much better delivery. Mitrovic has got a problem. Might be the small of his back. Started by Neymar's... Uh, Excellent ball, and then Michael's delivery. It actually came at quite an awkward height for Abdul Hamid. I'm not sure whether he was trying to just knock it back or actually score. It came off the side of his boot, and then Mitrovic, as you can see, collided with Lyudyshev. whether there might be some changes also sooner rather than later for Al Hilal if the breakthrough doesn't arrive. So back T. Neymar. Tripped. Free kick. Can they get the delivery right? This would be a very useful time to score. There's never a bad time, but just before the break. It's gone in short. That was a little practice routine, didn't work. Napa Hall, though, have uh, kindly given it back, although in the end, Volta Burr will win the throw and buy himself a bit more time as they look to get to the break on terms. And as you can see, in absolutely no hurry to take it. Brizanov, Al Hilal ball. They've got a minute left of stoppage time. Try and conjure something here. Nice from Neves, but he couldn't go on with it. No free kick given. Getting a little bit physical in there now. Here's Malcolm. from Neymar went astray. Runov. No choice really for Tembakti, but to go back. So, last few seconds then of this first half. A uh, half where Al Hadal have been a little quieter than many would have expected. Well, that is half-time. Overwhelming favourites to win this match at the outset. The four-time winners being held. Neymar, apart from one free kick, and it was pretty limp, to be honest. 
hasn't really featured too much. Uranov's effort for Nabbahor, the closest they came with a lob over the bar, 76% possession, hasn't been any good so far to Al Hilal. Half time here, nil nil.
What a warm welcome back to Riyadh for this Group D AFC Champions League match. Al Hilal and Nav Bahal locked at nil-nil after uh, a first half that wasn't quite as one-sided as many had predicted. And uh, George A. Jesus, who you just saw, would have stressed the importance of uh, an opening match week victory here to his men. Huge favourites coming in. Can they find the magic touch in the second half? So away we go with Al Hilal attacking the goal away to our left. Hoping for a rather more potency in front of goal than we saw from them in the first period. No changes to either side during the break, incidentally. He tried to win the throw there, Goldban. In the end, succeeded. More by accident than design. Rubble <laughs> Tambakti. was Michael, arguably Al Halal's best performer in the first half. Most dangerous moments came when he was on the ball. Here's Malcolm. Neves. Portuguese again. Excellent ball. Abdul Hamid. Just couldn't decide what to do. Almost had too much time and then rather gave it away carelessly. Al Boulay. Can't keep it, Nav Bahor. And that just invites pressure. Here's Michael again. Did well to win that, Alfaraj. Neves. A look up and a delivery for Malcolm. See how many white shirts are in the way, though. They have been impenetrable so far. Cleared away by Ismailov. Uranov. Did very well. It looked like he was going down a blind alley at one point. Side flag is up. Just the wrong side. Abroy Ismolov arrived here in January from Nefchi. He's a full international. Chip forward by Tembakti. Al Sharani. Neves. Neves again. Little flick out for Neymar, but it just bounced away from the number 10. Thumbs up for the idea. Not the execution. That will be a handball. Neymar. Neves, Al Faraj, 
Michael. Again being forced away from goal. It's a lovely turn, though, from the Brazilian. And he's got it back. The pass wasn't quite accurate enough. It'll be retrieved by Al Sharani. Only a goal kick, more disappointment for Al Hilal. He's the man, though, that looks the most likely to find a way through, Michael. It's just a little bit too much on the pass. And it just forced Abdul Hamid to have to stretch to make the cross. And he couldn't really control it as well as he would have liked. Malcolm. Al Sharani. Free kick. Not particularly subtle from Igor Goldbatt. Well, somehow it found a way through to Malcolm. And now Al Sharani. Almost too many touches again. And there might be a break on here for Navbahor. How much pace has Sabrizinov got? Not enough. In the end, there were just too many defenders in front of him. If he could have turned on the afterburner straight away, he might have been away. Malcolm. Neves, nice ball. Mitrovic. Malcolm. Neymar, nearly brilliant. Nice control that from uh, Ismailov. He's only got Tabadzi there. He's found Tabadzi though. Here's a chance. Here's a goal. What a turn up. Navajor in front. And Tomo Tabadzi, who has taken so much physical punishment, led the line against three or four defenders at times. And he's given Navajor a short lead here. Astonishing turn of events in Riyadh. Even the goalkeeper joining in with the celebrations, and why wouldn't he? 52 minutes gone, a head-scratcher for Jesus. And the 31-year-old striker from Georgia has given Nabahor the lead. Who would have predicted this? He still had a lot to do. It was good work initially from Ismailov. Excellent pass, one touch to control, and a fierce shot past Alois. Wasn't much of a gap at that near post, but he found it unerringly. Got a bit of curl on it just inside the upright. Well, what answer will Al Hilal come up with from here? It's the Badzi's second goal of the season. He came on a free at the end of July. And straight away a change. Sabirinov is coming off. And they are replacing him with Abdu Manapov, a midfielder. More of a holding midfielder, understandable change that from uh, Sanvel Babian, who must be absolutely <laughs> thrilled. I think in his wildest dreams, he thought his team would be ahead here, but they are. Question is, what will the Saudi Arabians be able to do about it? Just 22, the substitute, after the Popov. Looked like a fair challenge, it was, but it will be a corner. Neymar to take it, they need a quick response here.
might come here for Neves to volley. It did, and he struck it sweetly. And Yusupov decided tipping it over was the best course of action. Maybe just a bit too hot to hold that. Wasn't taking any chances. Cushion side foot from the Portuguese. Neymar will try again with yet another corner. Mitrovic went in, didn't make any contact. This is the substitute, Abdomenopov. Nice ball as well. The scorer to Badzi. Urunov wanted it just ahead of him. Now he has got it. This is Urunov. Well, he was just the wrong side, so it wouldn't have counted. But once again, Napahor looking really threatening. It surely instilled a sense of urgency into Al Hilal, but maybe wasn't there before. Iskandarov. What a night this could potentially be for not just for Navbahor, but for football in Uzbekistan. Uranov. Abdu Manapov. You can see what he was trying to do because Ismailov was in space, didn't reach him, but it was a nice idea. Look how deep Neymar is picking this ball up. Neves. There was a little trip there. Neymar and uh, Ismailov came together. I'm not sure either of them particularly badly hurt. But obviously now, Navbahor, any opportunity to take time off the clock. Neymar looks like he has got a bit of a knock, actually. It looks a little innocuous. They, they clashed there, and then just a little coming together. It, it was nothing really. And yeah, he just might have trodden on the back of Neymar's calf. He's OK. That was the save from the Neves volley. Well, they're doing their bit. Can the 11 men in blue on the pitch? Find a way through, find a way to get back in this game. Neves. Sideways from Al Farage. It's going to be a Navbohar ball. Problems, problems for Georgie Jesus there. It's a bad seat, fighting his corner again. Neves. Neymar. I fancy a run himself. In the end, it was a bit of a damp squib ending, truth to tell. And here come the uh, Uzbeks again on the break, but that's a poor ball. Pity. Here's Moilov who provided the assist for Tabadze's goal.
not as accurate on that occasion. Neymar. Malcolm on the outside. Didn't see him or didn't want to use him. He's got a free kick, though. Well, now Neymar's been cautioned. I think the, the referees just had enough of the back chat, to be honest. Or it may have been... Well, you can't do that. I tell you what, he is a little fortunate. That wasn't more than a yellow. Whack the ball that is Moilov. I'm not sure what he's got to complain about. I think Al Faraj doing the right thing, trying to pull him away. There is also a yellow card for Ismailov. I think that was for the original challenge. So it will be a free kick for Al Hilal, but having played for an hour, they find themselves behind. Neves. Tambakti, Neymar, and that's going to be a free kick, and the referee very quickly, and there might be some more action here. Is he going to produce another card? Don't think so. He clearly stood right on the uh, instep, Abdul Hamid. And they hurt. So building from the back again, Al Faraj, they need to find a way through and they need it fairly quickly. Even a, a draw would be a disappointing result. Remember, only the group winners guaranteed to go through from any of these groups. And the best three runners up from the five groups in each region. Really poor control from Abdul Hamid. Made a present of that to Abdul Menopov, who's still going the substitute. Neves got back. Mitrovic. Just no way through. There were two defenders for company there. Excellent challenge. That was really good from Yildashev. He's had an excellent game. I mean, you could say that about pretty much everyone in white. I think he's paid for the challenge. It's a couple down. That is uh, Yildashev. Maybe a touch of cramp. And after Manipov is also down and needing some treatment. Superb challenge, the timing of that. Just wonder if he might have stretched a little awkwardly, yeah. I think he did. That looks like cramp, though. 
or sometimes you can make a movement that does induce a bit of cramp. That's his uh, Abdimenopov's incident that led to him requiring the physio. I think he's looked good actually since he's come on. Full of running. Oh, maybe that the sub needs to be subbed here. Right ankle. So he might have to do a bit of reshuffling there. Babian. Just lost his footing at the vital moment there. Ismonov. Here's Al Faraj. The bad seat. Not really closing him down. This Moynov. Not the greatest of clearing headers either. Ball to Boev. Ismailov. Easy enough in the end for Alois, who's had virtually nothing to do except try in vain to keep out to Badzi's shot. The one moment of real quality in the match so far. And Al Hilal improbably still playing catch up. Neymar for Al Shirani. Doesn't always mean a great deal. Possession. Certainly hasn't tonight so far. Abdul Hamid, Michael, too near the goalkeeper. Well, the crowd initially thought the referee had given a penalty. Nothing like it. Gone the other way. All kinds of wrestling going on between Mitrovic and Ivanovic. Two Serbians and a real tussle. And I think it put off the goalkeeper who didn't take it cleanly. And in the end, the decision's gone against the attacker. So we move into the last quarter of the contest and a very unlikely scoreline. Al Hilal nil, Nafahal 1. The goal from Toma Tabadzi, 52 minutes in. It'll be one of the shock results in AFC Champions League history if it stays this way. Four-time winners, remember, Al Hilal. Navbahor, Champions League debutants. Only ever won their National League once. And that was nearly 30 years ago. But still, 22 minutes plus, who knows how much stoppage time. This is Michael. Never going to reach Milosevic with uh, Ivanovic in front of him. Neves. It's been quiet in midfield as well. Ruben Neves. Normally so creative. Seen too much of that from him so far this evening. Maybe now, or oh, they were in by default here. Michael tried to set up a tap in for Malcolm. Why didn't he go himself? There was a defensive error there. Surely he should have had a shot. I mean, you could say it's unselfish, but it looked like he would have scored himself. 
in the end, very gratefully cleared away by Ismailov. <laughs> Sense of frustration is palpable in the stands. Another change. Ismailov, the man who just cleared that, is coming off. And uh, Abdukolikov is on. Who's a striker, which is an interesting change. Maybe that there. There's a slight knock there. Well, you've got to admire the positivity of this change from Nagbahor coach Samuel Babian. Takes off a midfielder, puts on a striker. Now, whether he's going to play up front is another matter. We'll see. His name up. Just couldn't get past his man, and once again, he beseeches the referee for a free kick, and the official not interested. It's well won back by Neves. Neymar. Just held up momentarily. Still managed to play through to Mitrovic. Malcolm. Al Sharani's cross. Not enough depth. Ivanovic in the way. And with every passing minute, the frustration grows for Al Hilal and the hope increases from Navbahor of achieving something that almost no one thought was possible. They might add to it here because Tabadzi's away again. Defender just got back in the nick of time, Al Belay. And as well that he did from an Al Hilal point of view. Al Farage, no changes yet from Georgie Jesus, letting the 11 players who got them into this hole try and get them out of it. Once again, Neymar dispossessed. It's not been the debut that he was envisaging or that the fans wanted, the Al Halal fans at least. So much interest in this competition with all these big name superstars, but. Still room for stories. Here's Mitrovic. He was hopeful. It's cannoned out to El Sharani. No more again. Malcolm. El Farage. Poor ball. Somehow they've rescued it though. Malcolm once more onto that left foot. They were very careful there, the uh, Napahor players, not to dive in. Not to even give him the faintest hope of a penalty. Or maybe some changes are in the offing. Yes, indeed, they are. Cano's going to come on. He, he was thought to be a, a likely starter. Aldasari as well. So two attacking midfielders. Meanwhile, launched to get into the box. Neymar pulls it back and it was brilliantly blocked. They have defended stoically. Kano would have been a, a brilliant early introduction that the midfielder. Again, couldn't control it. Mohamed Kano. Aldasari. Mitrovic. Final ball really has 
left a lot to be desired tonight from Al Hilal. And to Kolikov. Was out of play, I think. So the calling break is going to be an opportunity for coach Jesus to try and instill some kind of sense of uh, belief almost into his players. Scoreline line that just no one really would have predicted. And they have defended admirably. Question being, can they keep it going for another, what, 15 minutes plus whatever's going to be added would be a massive shock. He can dare to dream now. Just get the feeling there'll be one, at least one, golden opportunity for Al Halal to try and get back in this game. Whether they take it or not, another matter entirely. And they've just got to be careful when they keep the back door shut because here come Navbahor again. Brilliant pace from Abdunapov and stopped by a very good challenge in the end. It had to be turned back to. Timed it perfectly. Al Sharani and Al Faraj, by the way, were the two players who came off uh, for Al Halal to allow Al Dasari and Kano on. This is Aldasari. Aldalei. Aldalei again. Now Neymar. Neves, shot was charged down, he rather telegraphed it. Al Halal will come again. Cano, Al Dasari, Cano again. He can be a very creative player in midfield. Neves has pushed it wide, they got five waiting in the middle. Didn't reach any of them. Maybe now, Al Dasari. Ruben Neves. I think the goalkeeper had that covered had it not been blocked. Don't think that Navajo will be too disappointed to see Ruben Neves trying to shoot from 25 metres out. That was the effort. Yeah, I think it was going well wide anyway, actually. Chip forward towards uh, Cano. Aldasari. 
This will reach Cano again. Nice one-touch control. And he went for glory himself, and it was right down Yusatov's throat. Well, <laughs> it's not a particularly subtle tactic, and they say they've got cramp, they may well have, but obviously the Navbahor player is going to take every possible opportunity to take a bit of time out of the game. That was the shot that was pretty comfortably saved in the end by Yusupov, who so far has had a far easier evening than he might have expected. Not impressed with what he's watching at the moment, Georgi Jesus. Scoreline tells you exactly why inside the last 10 minutes, although who knows how much uh, stoppage time is going to be added on here. Well, that was a nice touch, Ivanovic just getting a tap on the back from uh, Georgi Jesus, the Al Hillel coach. Yeah, and basically saying, no, I can't go on. <laughs> and I think Neves and several of the other players is making the point to the referee, look, how much more of this are you going to allow and are you adding it all on? That's Yuldashev who's actually had treatment about 10 minutes ago, who's down again. He's only made two changes so far, has uh, Babian. So he's got three in hand and I, I don't think that Yuldashev's going to be able to continue. So, much movement on the bench here. Yakshiburv is going to come on, it looks like. Who's a holding midfielder. And also, Luka Chamel. who can play either as a full-back or in central defence. So the Serbian is on. It's a bad say the goal scorer is off. The crowd don't like it. They thought it was going to be a contested drop ball, but it's not no matter what Neymar thinks. Ivanovic actually has come back on. Well, what a potential story developing here. Seven minutes to go, plus stoppage time. There'll be a fair bit of that. You have to say at the moment, Al-Hilal just don't look like finding a way through. They have been below par so far, but Navbahor, on their AFC Champions League debut, have been sensational in terms of defensive organisation and then a, a wonderful goal on the counter. Cano, Abdul Hamid, looking for Neymar, was over his head, it will run for Aldasari. There goes Neymar, but again, control let him down, 
It's an easy interception. Mitrovic has won it back, though, no foul. Michael. Two wanted to run onto that. It wouldn't reach Neymar. And just about for the first time, they looked a bit rattled. But now, Abdu Manipov trying to break. Decides to hold it up in the end. Seventy-six percent possession still for Al Hilal, but they trail. Michael couldn't find a way through. Well, that, I don't think that's the best tactic from Nabahor. Got to try and hold it themselves a little bit, even as we go into the last five minutes of normal time. Neves. Neymar. Oh, that's a superb ball, Abdul Hamid, and that sums up their night so far. Super little ball from Neymar, and just woeful control. No other descriptions, clearly on side. I think he may have just have looked up, yeah, just looked up, and then by the time he looked back down again to control the ball, didn't know where he was. It has been really disappointing from an Al Hilal point of view so far. Yusupov will launch it as far as he can beyond halfway. Neves. Here's the Portuguese again. Until Hamid. A little flick for Michael. Nice turn. He's round the back again. Defender at full stretch. To stop the cross reaching uh, Mitrovic. Albulay, Neymar, wanted the one-two and he's got it back. High and hopeful, but it was an awkward bounce to deal with. Michael, trying to wriggle his way through, but again, white shirts, a sea of white shirts in the way. Neves. Charging forward now is Malcolm. Michael. Looked up. Still there. He's come back to Malcolm again. In towards Neymar with the header. Not enough power to trouble Yusupov. Seconds ticking away here in Riyadh. Two minutes of normal time to play. Two more substitutions. Neves is coming off. Mohamed Albarak is on, he's a defender, but he can play wide as a winger. And uh, Al Hamdan also, who likes to play just off the main striker well they've got to go for broke now no option this is Al Hamden his first touch well played by Abdul Kolikov and look at this he might be away here Yashi Boev he can settle it Yashi Boev good save didn't commit himself Alois had that gone in, surely it would have been curtains. Over the defender's head, he started running from his own half, so he couldn't have been offside. Defended ve did very, the goalkeeper rather did very well to stand up as long as he did, and stretch out the right arm. The 
playing the final minute of normal time. Goal back. Yashiboev. He will certainly settle for the throw. Only been on the pitch a few minutes and he might have sealed the victory, but for Aloise's excellent stop. Just trying to keep the ball down there and they've succeeded too. This is really good. And a shooting chance, it was deflected and they will certainly take the corner. It was Eagle Goldban of all people. The centre-back, what was he doing up there? Well, now we're going to find out how much stoppage time there will be. I think a lot. Four. I didn't think that much. 14 minutes. Wow. That is absolutely astonishing. I mean, there have been a lot of stoppages, but certainly didn't expect that, and that should give the crowd a massive lift. Neymar. Neymar was hoping that might fall back to him, but it didn't. Well, the football authorities have said they want to clamp down on time-wasting, though this does seem a little excessive. One minute of the 14 safely negotiated by Navbahor. That would have been a, a psychological downer for them when they saw that board go up. Neymar. Uranov. And again, that might not be a bad ball. Abdumenopov just couldn't get the better of the defender. Kind of wonder if Nathbohor have been deciding if they should uh, stick or twist the last couple of minutes because another goal would almost certainly seal it. And then you leave yourself a little open, maybe. Trickery from Michael, but no free kick. It's about as open as the game has been all night now in the second minute of stoppage time. This is Neymar. That's a lovely ball. Michael defender did brilliantly to block that. Still Michael has it. He crosses again and put behind his own goal in the end by Milosevic. Corner taken quickly, Neymar. Michael, back for Tambakti. Oh, it fell invitingly for Mohamed Kano to shoot. And as has happened on so many occasions tonight, the effort was blocked. Malcolm. Nice bit of trickery. Needs to deliver, though. And it wasn't a particularly good ball in. It's come out to Michael on the far side. Neymar. Does he fancy a shot? He wants handball, he's not going to get it. <laughs> You've got to admire Navbahor. They are trying to come out and hit them on the counter again. Didn't work that time. Neymar. Oh, well, he we managed to thread it through, but again, it just didn't fall to a blue shirt. And that will be a free kick now for Hawk. Well, this was the rather half-hearted penalty shout. And clearly, it hit uh, Abdu Manipov in the chest. Well, his post-match press conference will be fascinating if the scoreline remains this way for another 10 minutes. I did say 10 minutes because we're into the fifth of 14 
additional minutes of stoppage time. Neat interception. Rashi Boev. He's gone for the return. I don't think he's going to get the better of the full back there. He won't. Just too quick, Albule. But they need something to happen at the other end, El Hilal. Neymar stopped in his tracks for the umpteenth time tonight. And Bakti for Albale. Aldasani. Yet again, we have uh, a Napa Hall player down. Going to end up playing a, a third half here because <laughs> this time's all going to be added on as well. Well, it hit Bolter Boev on the back. I'm, I'm not sure that really necessitates that reaction. He's getting closer to the biggest win of his career. And uh, he, arguably, one of the worst losses. And uh, some of the supporters have seen enough, even though there is still eight minutes left of stoppage time. Plus, we're going to have some more now as well. I'm sure Bolter Burb is going to be OK. Meanwhile, Al-Hilal try again. Driven in, oh, ter terrific effort and a fabulous save. Mitrovic's shot bound for the corner until Yusupov got down low and tipped it round the post. Really good start from the Napahor goalkeeper and captain. That's as close as the men in blue have come. Here's the corner. That time comfortably cleared. And here comes Abdumanipov, who's shown a turn of foot. Not quite enough that time to get the better of the defender. Terrific stop that, though, from Yusupov. I think Mitrovic thought he'd scored. Neymar. Burak played it wide, here's Michael. Always seems to have been someone in white in the way. Neymar. And again, this is Neymar. Goes down, now then. Referee says play on. Neymar looks incandescent. First reaction was there wasn't enough in it. I don't think... No. Well, that was the save, and a very, very good one. Full stretch. Low to his right, and that's what it means. Congratulations from Milovic. Offside, uh, Iskandarov. <laughs> Albule, Neymar. 
Well, that's nicely done. They are around the back here, Aldessari. They've dealt with everything that's been thrown at them so far. Naf Bahor. Sense the frustration in the crowd that the throwing wasn't taken uh, more quickly. This is Al uh, sorry, it was Al Burak. Michael trying to get around the back yet again. It's a good delivery. But the header is in. The goalkeeper, I think, thought that might be going wide. And right at the death, it's Ali Vallehi who's got an unlikely level up and has saved his manager from a very embarrassing result. Almost seemed to happen in slow motion. In the 11th minute of stoppage time, Michael's delivery, the keeper almost gave it up, it was really strange. Al Boulay's jump, and it was right into the corner. Perfect header. And they've saved themselves right at the death. You've got to say, that is really tough on Napoli. And now, al Hadal looking to win it. Great cross from Michael, who's threatened to do that all night. And finally, someone's got on the end of one of his deliveries. Malay, the goal scorer. Oh, chipped in towards Malcolm. Cano's effort whacked away by Chermel. Well, what drama at the death here. There still might be some more to come. Another cross from Michael, another header away. Not very far. El Burak. Malcolm was too high for him, no penalty. There were two Al Halal players who went down, and neither because of anything illegal that a Nabdahal player did. At least not in referee Mohamed Abdullah Hassan's view, and his view is the one that counts. Two minutes of stoppage time to add, and there might be a bit more on top. Players falling everywhere in the penalty area. Just don't think there was enough in either case. And nor did the uh, official. Well, now it's uh, the Navajo players who are berating the referee. And Yusupov taking every available moment before getting the ball into play. Still time for one or other of these sides to snatch it. I think there's going to be more than another minute, you know, because we've had a few stoppages during the uh, 13 and a half that we've played so far. Dangerously into the box, keeper stays at home. Mitrovic and Malcolm rather got in each other's way there. But it is going to be a corner. In the 14th minute of stoppage time, can they win it here? Neymar with the delivery, over the goalkeeper. The goal was gaping for a moment, they couldn't find it. it was Mitrovic, but he had his path blocked by a posse of defenders. Now we've got goalkeeper and defender down. It's Milovic and Yusupov, the keeper, on the deck. Keeper in absolute no-man's land, he was nowhere near it. 
And if uh, the first touch had been better, it surely would have been 2-1. It was actually Al Hamdan whose effort it was. The first touch just allowed the defender to get there and get a block in. He thought his team were going to win it. They still might. Who knows how much longer we're going to play for. All the way back from Al Boulehi. We've played a minute over the 14 as it is. Referee hasn't even had a look yet, I don't think. Well, that is going to be full time. And Al Halal have saved themselves right at the death. Al Boulehi's header, 11 minutes into stoppage time from a Michael Cross. Finally cancelling out the shock opener scored by Toma Tabadzi for Navbahor in the 52nd minute. And for a long, long time, it looked as though we were going to get a massive shock. In the end, it's still a big surprise, this result. A disappointing full debut for Neymar. It's finished here. Al-Hilal 1, Navbahor 1.